This is Vacuum One Creative Pen Display, the UDTC 133W0B model to be exact. And in this video, I will unbox it, show you what to expect in the box, and also will demonstrate how to set it up. So let's begin. So now let's start by, well, understanding how to open this box here. This is first time for me, so yeah, it might take some time to figure it out. But yep, so here on the sides we have the film that we need to take out, if you can see it. Uh, uh, yep, so here it is. I have this handy knife, which I'll use to cut it. Yep, now we can take everything out of its box or slide it out to be precise. Alrighty, so here it is, the environment friendly packaging. Now let's take the top part, then we'll then right at the top we have the, well, tablet itself, the display, as you can see. Then you get, obviously you get the stylus or the pen and other accessories such as the power cord or power adapter. as well as the charging brick. And we also should have gotten the, yep, EU and UK probably adapters. So here they are. If you were uh, curious whether you'll get them, yes, you will. So from this little graphic, you can see that one port or one part of the wire is an HDMI input and another one is the regular USB and that's how you connect them pretty seems pretty simple and intuitive enough do we have anything else I guess we should have the paperwork and manual at the bottom of this box so let's remove this little uh, well thing here and I actually do not see any paperwork here Probably because there isn't any. Yep, there is no paperwork there, but I had it on the top. So here is the manual or guide on how to set it up. Post the video if you're interested. And here is the paperwork. That's all the paperwork that I've gotten. And well, as far as the unboxing goes, that'll be it. Let me quickly pause the video and show you how to set it up and use it with your PC. So now it's time to connect our Wacom tablet to the PC. So depending on the edition you get, you might find different types of wires in the packaging. The edition that I have includes the three-in-one wire. So if you get just two separate USB to USB-C, wires you can use them as simple as inserting the USB-C end over here and the I mean type C end over here and the USB end regular USB to your PC. Uh, in my case I have this thing for as a power line so I'll need to plug it into the power outlet power socket and then I also have this HDMI uh, input that I gotta, or output, whatever, that I gotta plug into my HDMI in the PC or laptop. Uh, in my case, by the way, when I plugged it into the uh, motherboard HDMI slot, it didn't work, but when I plugged it into the uh, GPU's input or output, whatever, uh, it did work, so keep that in mind. Then I also have this cable. Uh, this end goes directly in the uh, tablet. And then I also have the regular USB 
here it is. Uh, this one probably just serves for the data transfer. Uh, I've plugged it in, plugged it out, um, didn't get any changes, any noticeable changes at the very least, but it, it is here for a reason. So yeah, plug it into your PC USB port. So as you can see, I have successfully connected everything and now my tablet serves as an additional display. Uh, before we download the drivers, I recommend that you go into your devices display settings. Here, select your, well, uh, select your display, your tablet display. I mean, here I have three displays, one, two, and three. Uh, third one is my tablet. And then um, decide the display mode that it will have, whether it will be extended and it will be the third separate display or uh, monitor of yours, or you can just duplicate one of your monitors onto it. So that's up to you to decide. Uh, now, what you want to do is to download the Wacom drivers in order for it to uh, work properly. Go into Wacom.com, here find the download page, so let's go into support, then drivers and software, drivers and downloads, then select the respective driver that you should download, Windows or Mac OS versions. I'll go with Windows, obviously. Then, then wait until it will be downloaded, run it, and obviously get it installed. So as you can see, the drivers were successfully installed. Now let's restart the computer as it is asked or required here. And then I will demonstrate how the tablet works. So I have successfully rebooted my computer. That's uh, what the Wacom Center application looks like. Here you can obviously change all the preferences, settings, adjust them. You can uh, go into display settings and change them. Here, for example, you can go into advanced settings and change advanced settings as well factory reset your uh, display if necessary. You can go into pen settings and also change your pen preferences. We'll go into advanced. The same goes for the display toggle option. Here you can uh, change the display center preferences, uh, set up the on-screen shortcuts, see Wacom software offers if you're interested, of course. And well, that's about it as far as this app goes. Now let's also test it out in action. So here now, let's create the new file, just a regular canvas and draw on it. So let's select the brush. Uh, then I will also make it so that it will read the pressure with which I am uh, tapping at the screen so I can draw things like that. So as you can see, once I apply a lot of pressure, the line is bold, but if I will reduce the pressure, the line will become thinner and thicker back again once the respective pressure is applied. So it works just fine. Everything works the way it should, as I can see. And well, as far as the preview of this device, of this uh, graphical tablet goes, as far as the setup procedure goes, That'll be it. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section below this video. As for now, thanks for watching, thanks for your attention, and bye-bye.